Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to be covering the best next slot items or amulets for RuneScape 3. So as always, grab your cup of tea, sit back and enjoy. First up we have the affordable and well known Amulet of Glory. Now if you're a newer player watching this video, this is probably the first amulet you're ever going to buy in RuneScape as it's extremely cheap like I just said. Now it gives you a plus 2 prayer bonus and a 26 style bonus in both ranged, magic and strength, meaning it's a tribrid or hybrid amulet. But once you start getting to the mid levels, this amulet is easily replaceable with an amulet that is much better and we'll be getting into those amulets in just a minute. But if you're a newer player, this is a very cheap amulet and you can just pick it up from the Grand Exchange quite easily. The charged amulet of glory also gives you a variety of teleport locations being Edgeville, Karamja, Draenor Village and Alcarid. Next up is the Amulet of Zealots or Zealots, which is a Dungeoneering Amulet. Now the Amulet of Zealots costs 40,000 Dungeoneering tokens, which isn't too much. It also requires level 48 Dungeoneering and Prayer, but by the time you have 40,000 Dungeoneering tokens, you easily have a higher level than 48 Dungeoneering. Now as you see, this isn't your particular ordinary Amulet, as it has a min 5 or minus 5 Prayer bonus. But, it has an ability, or passive, whatever, which boosts your single stat boosting prayers by 10% if you have them active while equipping the amulet. Now, this stat boosting effect while wearing the necklace or amulet is actually better than the 295 and 299 curses, which are turmoil, anguish, and torment, and then you have the 299 prayers. But the amulet itself isn't that good. As you see, it does not give you any style bonus and only gives you minus 5 prayer bonus. So this is only really good if you're doing lower level monsters or you don't have the curses unlocked yet. As with curses unlocked you can wear better amulets like the other ones on this list. Next up is again a situational questing amulet, the Dragon Rider amulet. Now this amulet requires you to complete the one of a kind quest and it gives you plus 10 prayer bonus and a plus 30 ranged bonus, magic bonus and strength bonus, meaning it's also a hybrid amulet. Now while wearing this amulet, you gain double the experience you normally get from burying bones or crushing them with a bone crusher, which is amazing if you're camping frost dragons purely for the prayer experience, like I mentioned in my 1-99 and 120 prayer guide. It also gives you 10% more damage with the dragon's breath ability, and while doing that you also have a chance that it will activate a bleeding damage effect on your opponent. Next up is the Amulet of the Forsaken. Now this amulet costs 2 mil GP on the GE, around those prices at least, and 2000 bounty hunter points if you are to get it yourself. Now it gives you a plus 3 prayer bonus and a plus 36 style bonus to ranged magic and strength, again being a hybrid amulet. Now this amulet improves the effect of the barrow's armor. Now in the description below you can find a link to the wiki where you can see what bonuses it actually increases or what the amulet does to each of the barrow's armor sets. But, I gave you guys one example on screen which is the Guffin's armor set, and the amount of health healed while using Guffin's is increased by 10%. This effect can be quite nice if you're a mid-level player AFKing using the Guffin's armor set. Now even if you are not using Barrow's armor or equipment, this amulet is still pretty good as the stall bonus for ranged magic and strength is pretty high. Next up are the Dungeoneering Combination Necklaces, which you can make with a Chaotic Remnant, and one of the Sarandoman Hiss, Murmur, or Whisper amulets. And you can make these into a Arcane Stream, Brawler's Knockout, and Farsight Sniper Necklace. Now the Chaotic Remnant costs 100,000 Dungeoneering tokens, and the Sarandoman's Hiss, Murmur, or Whisper barely cost anything in the GE. Now depending on which one you make, they give a plus 44 style bonus for the respective style that they are for, being ranged, magic, or strength. They are not hybrid necklaces. Now they require 80 ranged magic or attack to wear depending on which version you get. Now once you've created these necklaces, you can also turn them into a blood necklace version of the necklace for some extra healing every 15 seconds, being around 200 to 500 life points. Do keep in mind however that the blood necklace shard is pretty expensive and is currently around 16 to 70 million GP. Next up is the reaper necklace which is a pricey necklace even though I put amulet in the video. <laughs> Uh, if it's worth the price, that's up to you. Anyways, it does cost 21 million at the moment, or around that price. It gives you plus 3 prayer bonus and plus 36 in all styles being ranged, magic and strength, which is pretty good. Now it has a passive with 
each successful attack that hits, you increase your hit chance by 0.1% for 54 seconds. This can stack up to 30 times, being a total of a 3% accuracy increase, which is pretty good for some PVM situations. The stall bonus to ranged magic and strength can be increased from 36 to 38 with Reaper Ornament Kit, turning the Reaper Necklace in a Reaper Necklace Ornament version. It's up to you if it's worth the price, however. Next up is my personal favorite for the price, the Blood Amulet of Fury. Now this is a blood version of the regular Amulet of Fury, just so you know. Now the regular Amulet of Fury has the same bonuses, being plus 3 to prayer and plus 32 for ranged, magic and strength. Again, this is a hybrid necklace, or amulet. Now the blood version of the amulet heals you 200 to 500 life points passively every 15 seconds. And that's what makes it so, so good. It's pretty much like a mid-tier or mid-level player soul split, if you will. Now to make the Blood Amateur Fury, you require a Blood Necklace Shard, which is around 70 million GP at the moment. The prices do change, however, and it has been around 10 mil, but it has risen in price recently. I don't know why, but it has. And you require a regular Amulet of Fury. You also require level 80 crafting if you want to make it yourself. But it can be assisted, so you can pretty much do this at level 1 crafting. All you have to do is put your accept aid on in your settings, request a player that does have 80 crafting for an assist, and then you can just create it in your own inventory. Now I just want to note one more thing, the healing ability of the Blood Amulet of Fury does not work at every single boss. Just so you know. And last but not least, oh boy. The Amulet of Souls. Now this is pretty much the best amulet in the game as of right now. And it does cost a bit of money, but it's definitely worth the price. It costs around 23 million GP at the time of making this video. Now it gives you a plus 5 prayer bonus and plus 46 in ranged, magic and strength. Making it the best hybrid amulet in the game. Now apart from those bonuses, the Amulet of Souls also has two very good passives. The first of which is when you're using Soul Split while having the Amulet equipped, Soul Split has a 50% chance to heal 25-50% to more, which is amazing. Now the damage reduction prayers and the flat curses are 10% better while having the Amulet of Souls equipped, meaning that instead of 50%, you have 60% damage reduction against that particular style. Now the style bonus can also be upgraded by two just like the reaper necklace with a soul ornament kit for 41.5 mil. <laughs> yeah, that's actually how much it costs. You can return or uh, revert the action if you did create the ornament version of the Amulet of Souls. But for just two more points in range, magic and strength in terms of bonus, that's not worth it in my opinion. It like literally triples the price of the amulet. But I mean, if you have the money to spend, why not, right? And on that note, I want to end the video. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. When you're feeling down on your luck, you're tired and stuck. Enough is enough. You gotta pick yourself up. Cause life gets hard. It might leave scars.